the L3 Nozzle Nose coming with Curling Bomb and Crab Tank. This weapon kind of got a little robbed. Since we can only occasionally share um, weapon kits, the splash o matic actually got the, spl or the um, Burst Bomb and Crab Tank combo that this weapon would have absolutely loved to got. Instead, this weapon got a stamp with its Burst Bomb kit, and that's very unfortunate. However, Every weapon would love to have a crab tank. Like, I don't think any weapon in the game would actually complain. Even Hydra, which the crab tank is similar to, would probably love to have a crab tank. Uh, right now, we're just going to wipe this off. The biggest thing is that this interesting kit comes with an interesting main weapon, being a semi-automatic that can massively paint. Like, it's really good at painting, even at mid-distances. It is a anomaly, um, to say the least. It's a very, very, very unique. I have trouble using it. And something I can recommend is if you're having trouble aiming with this thing, try to shut your game audio off in the lobby in the training area or just even in a practice match or something. That way you can get used to the visual feedback of the weapon because if you're just purely listening to it like I am now, I, I tend to just struggle a lot more to actually hit shots because I'm relying too much on my um, audio feedback instead of visual feedback. So we're going to try to actually get in the match here. We've got the um, heavy edit, so I'm just going to try to do some supporting fire oh hello there oh boy oh boy oh boy all right well i didn't think i would pop through the grates that quickly if i tapped the squid button but oh well a lot of people like to use this as an aggressive weapon and while it does do that pretty well if you can land the shots i tend to sometimes just use it as a support because again it can paint incredibly well the range it has and the speed that it can actually fire even though it is a semi-automatic is still pretty good i did not see the carbon there it was sharking, unfortunately, and this weapon does struggle up close against, especially against other shooters, which don't really have that pause in between shots. Um, and you do not have perfect jump RNG. You do have perfect land RNG, but once you jump, it does kind of throw that off. I'm going to just try to keep some paint down here. I don't want to do too much, and we can paint for our special if we need to. So we're going to just try to maybe take some people out. All right, careful. Uh, unfortunately, he did kill me immediately. Uh, I, I'm not really sure how that happened. I didn't think I had enough damage to do that quickly. You can see that firefight there. It is, it's just an anomaly of a weapon. I have a lot of hard times just actually hitting anything with it. Unless, you know, I am turning the game audio off, but then that has its all other host of issues. Um, it just kind of feels like it goes straight through people sometimes, and that's because it is a burst fire, so you have to constantly be tracking, even after tapping. It's not like a blaster where it sends one strong shot out. So, tra if you're having issues with tracking, and man, I'm just constantly getting deleted by these things. It's kind of annoying. But if you're not amazing at tracking, try practicing that too, because this weapon heavily relies on that. I'm gonna try some trigger discipline here, and maybe take someone out. As you can see there, I had some easy shots, but I just completely missed them. I have a feeling the pro is probably going to go after us, so let's try to make sure we're in a good spot. I need to try and make sure we're keeping paint down, too, because I probably am the painter. Try to find this roller here. Not really too interested in fighting the other crab, because that's just going to waste my special, too. All right, well, we'll take it straight, I guess. We're having some trouble getting in, and we do have the lead right now, but it doesn't feel like a very solid lead. I'm going to try to actually move around here and maybe substrafe and stuff. But yeah, again, when you're fighting those other shooters, it's just going to be a very rough time because you have to put a lot more mental effort into actually shooting things. If you're, you know, very used to the semi-automatic playstyle, this is a good weapon. But if you're not, it takes a lot of getting used to. And again, I'm, I'm just trying to take these fights on when I really don't have the right to do that. Constantly getting tag teamed and things like that. It, it's not going to be a fun time. I need to just pay for my special and try to use that. And hopefully I don't just get instantly deleted because I am just dying way too often. There we go. Teammates got a wipe out here, so we're really going to have to just lock in hard. And maybe we can get this push up to a um, overtake. I think first things first is taking this land, making sure that carbon cannot chase us. I hope our roller is not trying to be too greedy here. And we're just going to try to kite them. That way I'm not really putting myself too much in danger. We're going to go for this. We're going to watch this left side that they can climb up so they don't just surprise me here. But I believe they actually tried to attack from that range. All right. Got to get on here. Don't really know if anyone's approaching from the bottom. Right, we'll try to just fight this guy. I need to try to stay quick, though. There we go. Good job. 
And if I can just take enough aggro away from the people there to not actually shoot at the tower, we'll take that lead. And we did do that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and try to play a game without any of the game audio. Obviously, you'll be able to hear it, but I have completely shut it off on my end. Um, hopefully, this will show how a little bit more um, visual cues can actually help out with this weapon. Right now, we're just going to try to go for paint. We've got our crab tank going. I just want to stay far away from their leader. I need to figure out where he's at. Okay, he is over here just trying to do things, so try to take him out. If I can get the clip there, yes, nice. We're going to back up now and just kind of save our lives. Throw this forward. Try to help out in this firefight over here with our dynamo. He's just rolling. And then we'll try to get up on their platform this way. I'm getting a little bit too close to the enemy, so we want to try to make sure we're being aware of our surroundings since I do not have the audio cues to know exactly where people are at, like the E-leader being shot at or shooting at us, actually, or the junior throwing torpedoes. I do have to kind of make more notes about where people are at and where ink is flying in from. So for now, we're gonna keep just kind of throwing paint down and hopefully at some point we'll be able to get something going off here. I do believe there's someone this way. So we're gonna kind of try to keep this guy at bay. Put some paint down. I am a little out of um, range here, but we were actually able to take that fight, thankfully. I would really like to get up here and fight this guy. Well, where'd he go? There he is, okay. Ooh, I'm gonna back up. We actually got the kill there. So that audio cue actually helps more than the, um, uh, or not audio cue, the reverse, the visual cue. Hopefully, um, someone will be a little bit more brave to take on the tower. Hold on, get this guy, good. And then now maybe, maybe we can get on the tower, guys. We really need to make something happen because we're having all of the opportunities in the world. Oof, oof. Okay, we're backing up. Need to know when that fight is turning sour before we, you know, get too far into it. Try to keep shooting up on that platform there too. Get some paint down. Take down the torpedo. Okay, there's a lot of people over here. They are spawning in. They don't have any cooler weapons, which is surprising. But yeah, they're always constantly over here. I've got a heal, so I'm going to just take the back foot here. And I have a crab tank to stop their push, so we'll try to do that. Tower isn't the best thing to stop a, um, or use a crab tank on to stop a push, because it is that little pull there that just kind of does ruin your aim. But I do believe that's their um, leader backing up. So I'm going to try to trap this fella. Let our teammate get the kill on him. And their leader is actually setting up over here. So I'm going to just throw some paint down. Maybe take some space with it. But at the very least, far for, farm for my crab. All right, we'll take the trade there. Um, we'll lose our crab charge there, but I think that's fine. Gets one of their offensive pieces out, which seems to be something we're actually struggling with pretty badly. Uh, we did get wiped out. So now we need to absolutely try to just supplant ourselves into our base. Fire away at this guy at the very least. Maybe land some shots. Scare him off. All right, good deal. They've lost the tower. If they try to make a push, I am just kind of waiting here. I'm going to try to take this right side too. That way we do have some space to move around. I actually killed some. I thought there was someone over here. I just didn't see anyone moving. So I just kind of, you know, left it alone. If I'd heard something, I would have probably checked a little more. Leader is still alive, so we do want to maybe get in a little closer. Okay, our friend actually gets the kill on him, so that's good. Nice, okay. Crab is doing crab things. Just going to kind of defend here, too. Very nice special, you know, just does a lot of stuff. AoE, paint, decent at painting at the very least. Not amazing compared to some other specials, um, but it also... Just does massive DPS with its shred mode, and then your ball is great for tanking stuff if you don't think you can t handle a thought. Right, we're gonna just try, yeah, I'm, I'm getting in a little over my head here, so we're gonna back up. Just try to make sure we have some pain over here. I'm not being as aggressive again, as you can see, I'm not, you know, being terribly aggressive like some L3s are, and that's probably where the weapon is the best at, but I like to take a little more of a supportive approach since I do play a lot more support than anything else. You know, Dynamo, Inzap, stuff like that. And, you know, if that if I play that a lot, <laughs> just completely ignore them. I'm getting tired of playing around them, so I'm just kind of getting a little more um, aggressive. Because E-leaders do get a little tiring to play around because it's just constantly, you no, know, you can't go here unless you risk just constantly dying. I try to just make sure our friends have some paint to move around. Just back up away from this guy. Right, we're fine. Actually, we are fine. But I died there because of the whole flurry of ink. I 
Gonna shoot it to the side, make sure we can catch anyone diving away from our friend. We get a wipeout. Only four seconds left. They can't really get to the tower because there were no jumps. And there we go. We'll take our second win. All right, match number three. We're not outranged by really much of anything other than the range, or not the range blaster, the rapid blaster, but we should be fine. Um, I think we'll just start working on paint since we do have some aggressive weapons on our team. We've got some support too. I think we'll just try to play that hybrid and, you know, maybe support with some cover fire. Is that the 52? Okay, I was going to say, is that the junior shooting at me? Is the 52. 52 is really the only thing that we have to really be worried about damage wise of course the recycled umbrella can be scary but we do have some pretty fast run speed with this weapon it just kind of has that naturally try to lock these guys out with some paint that will be very nice and again it's nice that you can paint at range and still have a bit of an effect on the match very nice just kind of want to play it safe though because i don't know where anyone's at i'm listening to audio again so we're just gonna try Maybe help our friends support with the, or support our friends with a more aggressive paint um, support. There we go. Good. All right. Good job. Should be able to stop pushing this again. Just going to wait right here because I do have my crab and I want to pop it. All right. Block him off from moving that way and our friend will be able to take the kill on him. We'll just shoot up this way. Get some paint down for our friend to move around a little bit more. If anyone in the tanks on the right here, I'm going to just keep covering with paint. That way they can't move as easily and maybe they'll get trapped. That is the 52. I try. I, I had the mind to move away, but there is end lag on the weapon. Because after you tap it, you have to get those three shots out before you can actually do anything else other than move around. Walking. Try to shoot at this guy, get him backed off. At the very least, chip damage his shield, make sure he can't do anything. And then I'm going to stay down low. Right, wait for these strikes to wear off. We'll paint over them. That should be fine. We've got a crab going out or fixing to go out. There is someone waiting over here. I do want to cover him up. All right. Now, I'm going to just try to cover our right side. Our teammates have the left side. So we should be fine on that end. All right, get rid of that bomb before it blows us up after our end leg of the crab. And then now, we'll just try to paint it range. Good job. And there we go. Um, I wasn't even touching the tower there, but the lag, I guess, in the match I carried it enough to the goal. I'm not going to complain, though. There's our third win. All right. Since we got three in a row, we'll go for a fourth one. Um, Hydra is going to be a little scary. Also, they have a double backline composition. So we'll go for a crab first, I believe. Just make sure we're not you know, completely blinding everything behind us. Very good. Yeah, he, he, he yeah, he, he's he's a little too close to actually be shooting arrows. All right, get some paint down. I will be the tower rider here since I do have crab. Stay alive here. Good job, friends. There we go. Good. All right, we've got rid of them. The only ones left are their back lines, which probably will not try to make any aggressive plays here. So that'll leave me some free range to actually, you know, keep painting for crab. Probably going to shoot that at the tower, so we'll just kind of wait it off. All right. Ooh, I probably... Oof, oof. No, no. Okay. <laughs> Did not expect... I don't think he expected me to be there either, to be honest. We kind of just had a what is happening moment. All right. We're going to lie low here. If anyone tries to jump on tower, we're in a good spot to ambush them. Nice. Good. If he climbs on tower here, he's, yeah, he's down. Just kind of take this very slowly. I'm going to touch tower here. That way we can get some special charge. Keep that in zap at range. I'm going to watch the right side, see if he actually climbs. He's not going to climb, though. And they have a disconnect. I'm still counting it, though, since it is just the fourth match. Not really too worried about that. Also, we had a really commanding lead. I doubt they would have actually been able to get that. But you never know. You know, that's not really something you can always predict. Just kind of keep firing off this way to the right in case anyone tries to go through that little trench there. Paint on their platform. Dapples are being aggressive here. Take care of them though. Try to get this guy at the very least. I'm surprised he tanked some of my shots with his armor and then uh, just shredded me completely. Kind of weird that it happened that quickly because I was at full health. What? Okay. There might be a little bit of lag then. That would make some sense. 
<laughs> and there we go again. We get killed right before the tower touches the goal, but we still win it. It was a disconnect win, but oh well. I'm not going to complain about it. We've already got our three wins for the day. All right, well, there's three wins and technically a fourth win with the L3 Nuzzle Nose. Again, this is just a very weird feeling weapon. Um, it, it The shot velocity is weird on it. I don't know if it's faster or slower. That makes it feel weird. I'm going to say it might be slower, but the H3 just feels better than it sometimes. Um, it is supposed to be more supportive and faster DPS, especially on larger non, you know, player targets. But it does just struggle a little bit moving or hitting very fast moving targets. And that's why it is, you know, faster at firing. Um, again, if you're good at this weapon, it's a good weapon. If you struggle a bit with it, it's going to feel mediocre and just not worth it compared to the other shooters in the game. Even though it does have that little bit of extra range. Either way, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider leaving a comment below and maybe even consider subscribing. Until next time. Bye.